welcome back everyone. I uh, don't know what happened there, my stream quality kind of went bad. But yes, um, as you can see, the we are in Estogaza now. Uh, it's kind of serene looking. Uh, let's hope my stream does not go bad again. Okay. What do you beggars want? You're in a holy place, keep the noise down. Just like the other pointy hats, no manners at all. Hey mister, what did you just say? Have you seen some guys that look like my friend here? I dare you address me so! I am the priest of Estogaza, the holy place in which you stand. Mind your tongue, child! Are you in league with the bra brazen crew? Tell me where they went. Was there a little girl with them? My friend's life is in danger. Tell me what you know, now. All life is equal. All living will return to the stars. Through the path of souls of the shimmering island. What are you talking about? Didn't the black mages have a girl with them? She's a friend. Didn't everyone from the black mage village come here? Tell me. I just watched them. Besides, they didn't do anything wrong. They barged in, hundreds of them. So that was the dreaded black mage army. They headed straight for Mount Galug without even looking at me. Mount Galug? An enormous volcano that went extinct in the old days of old. Legend has it that the race of great moles once lived within the caverns. But that was very long ago. No mortal has entered those depths ever since the entrance was mysteriously sealed. They passed through here and went straight to Mount Galug. And what about the girl? Oh yes, one of the black mages carried a little girl too. That's gotta be Pacament. Well, now we know. We gotta get to Mount Galug. The black mages were carrying a little girl. So what does Estogaza have to offer us? Let's see. Everyone comes here to worship the Path of Souls. I wonder what sort of place the Shimmering Island is. Someday I want to visit there. You're like literally four feet away from it. Go, just go. Okay, don't need a Zorlin shape. I'm not sure I'll pick one up. I'm not really done with the Flame Saber yet, but uh. Okay, one. Scissor Fangs. Oh, yes, I want one of those. Sure, Rod. Yeah. Don't have one of these, so we want one. Octagon rod. Definitely want that. Well, we'll pick up one of these. Well, the nation shield. Diamond gloves are better defense wise, I guess. Two shield armor, just haven't equipped it yet. Alright. Thanks, come again. Alright, so about the soil and shape, and it doesn't teach me anything worthwhile, but we have it for just in case. Right hand, I don't lose any defense. That I lose one defense, gain two magic defense without a gain. Oh, I got two, but nine. My math sucks. Hmm, not entirely really sure even that's worth it. I mean, yeah, I gain two defense and seven evade, but I lose all my magic evade. Hello, Melgo. Uh, 
I only speak basic French and I do not know what most of that says. Uh, I know... I have. for now. The bishop will get angry if you talk too loud. The Shimmering Island is a path of souls, you know. Wing Edge. What's that? Is that a throwing item? Probably is. <laughs> All right, let's follow them up into Gulag Mountain. Hey, look, a Moogle. Hello. Mogrika. I got a letter this morning, but I don't know who sent it. I'm scared, Kupel. Read it with me. From Artemisia to Mogrika. Mogrika, I'm in trouble. I used too much. Do you have more? You don't, don't, do you? Oh, what am I going to do? I told Artemisia not to use it. I have a favor to ask, Kopo. I want you to deliver a letter to Mulan. Thanks, Kopo. Let's save, Kopo. Look at those birds up there. Alright. Look at this. Hello, bird. It flew away. Mount Galug is over here, though. Hmm, more fights. I actually like the um, music from Mount Galug. It reminds me of uh, Garug Volcano from Final Fantasy 1. Not sure if I'm the only one for that, but... Farada. By this game, do you mean uh, Final Fantasy IX, CJ? Because uh, the guide didn't give much information, it just kept guiding you to use Play Online. Okay. Milk a lug. But yeah, I really like the music here. Bolton board, don't forget to pull the lever when down when you first use the well. Slayer the mole. The hell is that? Hello, friend. Worm Hydra. Spray the venom breath. That shouldn't work. Oh, you know what? I forgot to equip Vivi with his new weapon. Oops. And Pia. Vivi finishes it off. Silly for the win. That's fast. Alright, let's see here. We equip Pia with the Assurance Rod. She's not going to learn anything new, but whatever. We're going to equip 
personally with the Octagon staff where he will learn Blizzaga, Fyraga, and Thundaga. Take a look at Fyraga, see what that's like. A respectable amount of damage right there. Leveled up. Perfect. Perfect. Guess this is as far as we go here. Oh, wait. Oh, oh there's something there. A red hat. Excellent. I didn't just buy a bunch of those. Floating fish and what looks like a bomb. A literal bomb. And I missed. Lovely. And I missed again. Lovely. Mustard bomb. Okay. Oh, Infected the right character with that. There we go. Actually hit that time. This can't be good. He's probably gonna die. Unless it misses. Oh good. Save for look. I don't know if I have probably ten bones for look dead. No, I didn't. Yeah, Lil's dead. I do not like these things already. Damn, they hit fast. And hard.
Alright. That fight only took forever. That was just a normal fight. We're gonna head back down here and down. And across. What is this place? Left, I guess. Hey, treasure. Demon's mail. Don't think that's for you. Pretty sure that's probably for you. But we're not going to equip it yet, as we still have to finish up with the shield armor. Voldemort. The well didn't work until I pulled the lever three times. Louis the Mole. Yep, silly. Uh, it is. I think it only works on the new DS. Or maybe that's the new one that came out. It's uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. One of them only works on the new 3DS. I actually want uh, Xenoblade Chronicles myself. I have it for the Wii, I just never got around to playing it. Pia finishes off the Warm Hydra. Accuracy Plus. There's a Moogle there. Hello. Thought no one was allowed in here. Yep, here's a Moogle. Alright, so. This fight again, ah. Uh, F this. This fight took forever last time. Fight other ones, I just don't want to fight these things. <laughs> I have a Wii U. I play Smash Bros. as Zelda. I haven't received any mail, Koopa. Hello? I 
I have my GameCube too. What is this thing? Red Dragon. Let's try Lizaga on him. This does not look like a dragon, I think, but. What is? That ability is just rude. Okay, victory. Silly, crushing it with the damage now. Only really land the Aga spells. An elixir, excellent. Can I not get out there? No, okay. My uh, favorite Zelda game actually came out on GameCube initially. Gotta love the Twilight Princess. Moving along. No? Well, if you still have your GameCube and you can get a, uh, and it works, I'd say if you can pick up a copy of it, uh, for the GameCube go for it because I liked it much better than the Wii U version. Oops. <laughs> but I'm another Moogle. I had a mission rubbed it all over himself. The machine needs it to function properly, good pal. I know he must have felt. I used it on myself once too. It's a wonderful thing, but... I see, that's why we haven't been receiving mail lately, good pal. I have a favor to ask, good pal. Deliver a letter to Magtaka. Thanks, good pal. These people outside are like really making some banging. Sounds. There we go. What? There's another door over here. Where does this lead? Yeah, they are. I'm gonna pick it up. Um. Hopefully you can use the Wii controller for it, not the, uh, like, the Wii remote thingy. Because my favorite Zelda game is Twilight Princess, but it would be Skyward Sword if the controls weren't so awful. I can't remember the amount of times I'd swing my sword one way and he just continue swinging it the previous way and that we were going for or some weird crap like that cannon no don't use cannon I hate cannon uh.
What? I mean, speaking of cannon. There's some guy gear from going up here, I guess. Huh, another red dragon? Hi, red dragon. Two of them. Lovely. It's almost as if they realized one wasn't enough. Since here we can take out two of them as well. Oh, of course you're gonna use Twister. I hate you. There's so much damage for no reason. That's alright. Sasser gets to attack again, it's gonna die. We're gonna show off Grand Lethal. <laughs> well, that's a lot of EXP. Yes, of course, and for that reason. Hmm, not sure if I have enough time. I still have another 30 minutes at least. Should be okay. What do you mean, ew, Piamet? When Trag the game is fine. You just don't like it because Silly likes it. Which is a really bizarre way of doing things. Oops. I don't want in here, I want to go over. Talk to Mogtaka. Yeah, not fighting these. Fuck you, Vipples. See ya. Thanks for delivery, Koopa! I had a mission, used the item on himself, Koopa. I wanted to go to Magnet Central and complain, but where the heck is it located, Koopa? I, I never even thought about it until now, Koopa. Kinda think of it, I don't really know much about Magnet Central. Alright, it's a good time to save.
Alright, so we got a little bit of time left. Oops, going down here. Let's go down that well. Another red dragon. Joy. Sometimes force battles are, in, are, are, are alright, but force battles with red dragons are annoying. Especially when they give you two on one. Like this! And of course, here comes Twister. Oh, she actually succeeded twice in a row at casting. Interesting. So now that's dead, I should be able to move on. What the heck are they doing down there? Cessary, it's Pakamed! Kuja and the Black Mages are there too! Pakamed! That must be the extraction spell! Eidolon of eternal life, Eidolon of infant power, depart after the, thy endless weight, arise from thy endless slumber, let there be light, let there be light! The time is now, the time has come! Hmm. Oh, wait, Pia! I know, we all know how you feel. Come on, let's do it. And then she just like, stops. <laughs> she goes to rush off on her own, then she's like, nah, I'm gonna wait. That was odd. Odd that was. We failed again! Again we have failed. Did you make some mistake? M make mistake I made did not. Yours the mistake must be. I made no mistake at all. The truth do you speak? Of course I speak the truth. Will you two just shut up? I it's his fault. His fault it is. The one who messed up is you. You're the one who messed up. I said shut up. I don't want to hear excuses. I sense power from within her. Continue the extraction. Continuing further will endanger the subject's life. Only at the age of 16 can an Eidolon be extracted. You two just don't get it. I need an Eidolon more powerful than Alexander. An Eidolon with the power to bury Garland. His powers are so incredible, I cannot even come close. I must destroy him before Terra's plan is activated, or my soul will no longer be my own. Who cares if she lives? I want that Eidolon.
Kupo. Where did that come from? You, get out of our way. Master, master. Kupo? Well, her pet Moogle is interfering with the extraction process. Certain are we that it caused the failure. Kill the runt. We're running out of time. Kupo. Mog. No, Mog. Hide behind me. Mog? What is it? Pacamet, thank you for everything. Mog, what are you saying? Don't worry, Kupo. I will always be with you, Kupo. Mog! This way. Whoa. Mog! We will put you to death! Put you to death, we will. Pacamet, use Terra Homing, Koopa. Okay. So much for them. I wanted to be by your side, Pacamet, so I became Mog. Don't worry, I'll always watch over you, Kupo. <laughs> Pacamet, are you okay? I'm alright. Mog saved me. I never knew that Mog was an Eidolon. She always looked after me, disguised as a Moogle. Even though, even though she was weak. She fought her best to protect me. So that's what happened. Mog's ribbon. Mog. Received ribbon. It's alright, Pacamet. Mog will always watch over you. You're right. How can that? That Moogle went into a trance? Kuja? So, an eruption of anger against one's surrounding induces a complete trance. It's not the will to live, nor is it the desire to protect another. Man, you're really going off. Hello? That means I simply need a powerful soul. Even if that soul is not my own. No, wait. And it can be found there. <laughs> Kuja, what are you plotting? I am done with you. W wait a minute. Silly, look out. Don't worry. I hear these twins put on quite a good show. Of course, they're not really twins at all. Wait, what about the black mages? No, silly, it's too dangerous. Whoa. Sassare, something's wrong. I thought we defeated them. I mean, you thought Pac-Man defeated them. You didn't do shit. Kobo. Well, aren't you friendly looking? This shouldn't work on most of us. Now you're all carrying virus too. Yeah, I don't think we are actually.
I don't know what good things this guy has for me to steal, but I'm gonna keep trying until I get them. Stole vaccine, haha. -ha. Oh, you know what? Let's summon Shiva. Let's see if this works. Mini! Ah, it missed. But it can actually work, that's the funny thing. Oh, she actually succeeded. Diamond Dust. Here's Shiva. With the full animation. Six hundred and sixty damage? Man. Couldn't steal anything. Wings. Alright, let's try Ifrit. Flames of Hell. If it looks a little different in this one. More monkey like than usual. I think 14, hey, that, he must be weak against fire, because. Yeah. I think 14 might be my uh, favorite iteration of. Uh, Of effort. How they did what with the summons? Dragon's Crest. Oh, that's right, this ability. That's kind of cool. 5,000. Alright, that's worth using. Let's try Lancer, though. Steal some more of his MP. Golden hairpin, yeah. All right, let me give one more thing to steal. Assuming you live through this dragon's crest. And you did not. <laughs> Victory! Apparently I had virus on me somehow, even though I'm supposed to be immune to that. Silly, where's Kuja? Did he get away? Silly? Everyone knew he was lying, but they still followed him. He said that our lifespans can't be extended and that we were fools for believing him. What? Who just said that? I, I'm so sorry for all I've done. 
You guys don't have to apologize. Where are the others? They were so shocked to hear it. They're all sitting down over there. Cesare, what am I supposed to tell them? Silly. Hey, silly, where are you going? All I can do is just sit with them. That bastard, when I get my hands on him. Pardon me, but is someone there? Who might you be? Where has Kuja gone? Oh, him? He split, lady. What? You chased him away? I know not who you are, but you have my sincerest gratitude. Could this be Princess Garnet? Why, it is you! It is you! Oh, how long has it been? I haven't seen your highness for ages. Why, look how you've grown! So whatever brought you to this dreadful place? Who is this lady? What's a friend of yours doing here, anyway? Oh, my darling, Ribbit! Hilda, I finally found you, Ribbit! I do not remember ever marrying a toad. Well, sucks to be you, because only a lucky person would marry a toad. It's me, Ribbit! Sid! Of course, that mustache truly really is you. Hilda, come back to the castle, Ribbit, and return me to my former self, Ribbit. Dreadfully sorry, my sugar cup, but I surrendered your favorite airship to a man named Kuja. Forget about it, Ribbit. As long as you're all right, Ribbit. Oh, my sweet froggy woggy. So, uh, you know Kuja? I'm gonna make him pay. Please tell me all about him. Very well, my dear. I shall tell you everything once we reach Olimblum. Is it just gonna teleport us to Limblum now? What are you laughing at, Wintrigue? Ribbit. Kuja didn't touch you, did he? His soul was filled with hate, but he was polite to me. He just talked an awful lot. What about, Ribbit? Well, he divulged his master plan to me. I didn't even have to ask. It was tiresome. But what he spoke of, it was truly a scene from a nightmare. What did he say? That he was not of this world. He said his aim was to use this power to acquire an even more destructive power. The taking of the Hildegard I was a part of this process. We must tell Sassari about this, Ribbit. You have valuable information! which led me to believe that my abduction wasn't a part of his plan. He was a hopeless narcissist, but... But at least he wasn't a skirt chaser like you. Ugh, you just hit me where it hurts the most. Ribbit, I'm sorry about that. That's why I risked my life to rescue you. Oh, really? Are you sure you went there to take back Hildegard 1? I'm not lying, Ribbit. I apologize. So please turn me back, Ribbit. I'm sick of being an oglop or a frog. I'll never cheat on you ever again, Ribbit. I promise. Can your words be trusted? I don't lie, Ribbit. I swear on my father's name. Alright, I'll turn you back. But it's going to be much worse if you ever cheat on me again. I... I understand. Now turn me back. Maybe I'll turn you into a hedgehog pie. Er, please no, Ribbit. Now turn me back. Alright, alright. Finally, Ribbit, I'm human again. Quack. I can concentrate on building Hildegard 3. Darn it. I must stop that. Dear, I'm sorry about everything, Hilda. And that will be the end of this stream once I can save. Cesare? Hmm? Pia? Mr. Cesare? Why are you calling me Mr. Cesare? Mr. Cesare, please get up! Hmm? Oh, it was just a dream. 
What's up? Lady Hilda is calling a meeting. Please go to the conference room. Okay, I just wish I could have dreamt a little bit longer. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I have a favor to ask you, but I want you to deliver a mail to Kumul. Okay, I want to do the conference room scene before I'm done. My brother is coming to pick me up in like 20 minutes to go get Final Fantasy Explorers. Alright, let's see here. But, we're gonna go to the conference room first. Because I want to put myself in a position where I can level my characters overnight. Who's that guy? It's Regent Sid. What? Still hasn't gotten any manners or it. Ahem. Still haven't learned your manners? You can stop the frog talk now. It's a silence, Ribbit. Oh well. Ugh. I didn't gather you all to talk about that. I called for this meeting to tell you about what I learned while in Kuja's captivity. It may provide a hint about where he may be. Listen carefully. I don't see the princess. I shall go look for her. I will begin constructing Hildegard III. The blue Narcissus will be used for its construction. Now, Hilda, you tell the rest. Hilda? So, what did Kuja discuss with you? Some parts of the story may be hard to believe, but please hear me out. Kuja plans to use this world as a means of acquiring an even greater power. Greater power? What could he do with it? I don't know. He indicated that he wasn't of this world. What? We, we call our world Gaia, but he called his birthplace Terra. Terra, huh? Teen. How are the repairs coming? They're going really slow. We can't rush them or everything will fall apart again. We're not getting anywhere. I've been up here forever. I want to switch places with someone. I guess the damage is a lot worse than we expected. Huh? She's not here either. Where could she be? Yo! Oh, it's only you. Why are you all gathered here? Are you scheming another abduction or something? Hey, watch your mouth. We were just discussing ways to restore this district. Yeah. Old timer, you got us all wrong. Yeah. We're just trying to rebuild our home, that's all. What are you doing here? From the looks on your face, it seems like you got problems. What's troubling you? Maybe we can help. Er, can I really trust you? Yeah. The princess is missing. She's not in the castle, so I figured she would be in town. Why don't you go back to the castle before you get lost? What? We'll find her. This is like our backyard. Alright, you heard me. Get moving. You you have my gratitude. Hey, no prob. Yeah, CJ, I wanted the collectors too, but uh, I didn't want to wait for it. I want the game more than I want the collectors. This Terra seems to be connected with a place called Shimmering Island. I don't know where Kuja went, but maybe we can find him if we go there. Unfortunately, you can't get directly to Terra from Shimmering Island. Of course you can't. Everyone would have been discovered in this other world by now if it were that easy. So what do we do? I'll tell you. 
The gateway that connects the two worlds is sealed, but Kuja said there is a way, a place the seal can be broken. Where's that? He said it's an old castle located in the northern area of the Forgotten Continent. An explorer left a record of his trip to this particular castle on the Forgotten Continent. If I remember correctly, he wrote that the cliffs were too steep to explore. Other than that, very little is known about the Forgotten Continent. Well, since this castle doesn't have a name, let's call it Ibsen's Castle. Ibsen's Castle, huh? Yeah, we don't know anything about the world beyond our continent. Jesus. How's the ship coming along? Regent, you're human again! Yes, now we can concentrate on building the ship. Judging by our experience with the Hildegard 2, we're almost finished with the engine. We're having problems with the construction of the hull, though. Yes, I'm thinking about using the parts of the Blue Narciss for the body. How come? I realized the Blue Narciss was a well-built ship when I wrote it. There are other reasons, but we must hurry. I already have a completed blueprint in my head. Do as I tell you and it will be completed in no time. Now let's get ready! Roger! That's all I heard. You may find a clue if you go to Ibsen's castle. Did you ask Kuja about all of this? These are the things he discussed voluntarily. He became very impassioned as he spoke, and he volunteered information without my asking. He probably thought telling me his plans wouldn't affect his grand scheme. He's right. His power is great, and we're at a disadvantage. But I can't forgive Kuja. He toyed with my friend's lives. Now we know where we need to go. The problem is getting there. I guess we'll have to wait till Sid finishes the Hildegard 3. Sassery! I bring troubling news! What? What now? I cannot find the princess. I've looked all over Limblum. The members of Tantalus aided me in my search, but... She's not in Limblum? Then there's only one place. Do you know where she is? I think so. You guys wait here in Limblum. I'll be right back. Alright, so I need to find a save point now. This part's taking way too long. Here she is in Alexandria. Oh, uh, where are you guys going? We're looking for Pia. Is there anyone else we need to look for? No, but we looked over there already. Go someplace we haven't already looked. Sin is so demanding. True, true. Hey, Ruby. Black Marcus, how y'all doing? We're doing all right. So how's show show business, uh, Ruby? Well, I'm, the money ain't no good, but I'm having fun. I like it. That's great. A hideout in Limbo got completely destroyed. I'm gonna go take a miracle to fix the place. Bro, we better... Oh, sorry. We came to Alexandria for a reason. Have you seen Pia? Pia? Nah, I ain't seeing her. What about her? You fixing the kidnapper again? No, we're just looking for her this time. I was only kidding, Marcus. I'll ask the patrons to be on the lookout. One second. I wonder if Sasuke is here with these good old boys. This is strange. I was sure that she'd be back in Alexandria. Where else can I look? Hey Sasuke, I've been looking for you. Boss, have you found Pia? Nah, I can't find her anywhere. I didn't find Pia, but I think I saw that chick. That chick? Yeah, you know, that chick. I'm gonna check again. What are you talking about? Where are you going, boss? Is she here? She was standing over there just a second ago. Over there. Is that who I think it is? Hey! Ah, 
Over there. You were literally just there. Where did she go? Still alive, eh? You are uh, Baku. Yep, I'm the man who abducted your princess. Let us forget about that. It happened a long time ago. You got a big heart, unlike that knucklehead Steve. No wonder the women are running the show here. <laughs> Boss, you must have seen Beatrix. Hey! As you can see, Alexandria was completely destroyed. Steve and I did our best to protect Alexandria, but our efforts were in vain. Steve was worried about you. Haven't you? Why haven't you contacted him? Pia's still in shock. She's been mute ever since the attack. She is? Then it's better for her not to return to the city for a while. It won't do her any good to see Alexandria like this. Well, there's the thing. We can't find her. I thought she'd be back here, but I can't find her anywhere. She's back in Alexandria? But she's nowhere to be found. Have you looked at the, in the resting place? Resting place? Yes, if she's back in Alexandria, I'm certain that she will be there. There are a couple of favors I'd like to ask you. If you see Princess Garnet, please tell her not to worry about Alexandria. She must take care of herself first. Sure, what else? I'd like you to give something to her. Received Garnet. Maybe it will help the princess get through the time of uncertainty. I can't wish this game would give me a chance to save now. I've been looking for you, Pia. Cesare! You can talk again! I... I've been thinking since the disaster. I've been thinking that I have to become queen and bring back peace to Alexandria. That's why I came back here, but... Can I stay with you guys for a while longer? Can I ask why? When my mother was still alive, my primary concern was to talk and look like a princess. But those were the only things on my mind. That didn't change when my mother died and I was about to become a queen. The only I only thought about how to look and act like a queen. I don't think the people will accept me as their queen the way I am right now. I don't know about that. I have no right to rule over this country. Hmm? Oh, I almost forgot. Beatrix wanted me to give this to you. Is this a garnet? That's right. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. That gem used to be just another ordinary stone. That stone made a wish. I want to shine. The stone traveled from person to person in keeping with its wish, and now it's shining in your hand, Pia. If you're willing to make an effort, you'll shine too someday. The day will come when Alexandria needs you. There's no rush. The important thing is to have, that, have the desire. Thanks. I have to apologize for using you guys as an excuse to run away from my responsibilities. Hey, what's important is that you honestly want to stay with us. Hey, Na Nanarcat. Cesare? Can I borrow that knife again? Which one? The one that helped me make my last big decision. I'm borrowing this. Cesare? Remember the way I was. For me. Yay, airship! Okay, so hopefully it starts me on the airship and I can just go do things now. I'm tired of cutscenes because I gotta go. <laughs> 
Anyway, welcome to the stream, Nanercat. Well, what happened? P -p Princess, where have, what have you done? I know, Sasser, you broke her heart, didn't he? How dare he? I I is that true? Whoa, hold on, don't jump to conclusions. Sasser is right, Pacamet. Pia, you can talk again? Yes, I'm sorry I made you all worry. It's okay, but your hair, it was so beautiful. Short hair doesn't suit me? Oh no, you look great. Thanks, Pacamet. It's still too early to celebrate. Aaron, you know our destination? Yes, Ibsen's castle on the Forgotten Continent. That's right, we'll go there to find out how to enter Terra through the Shimmering Island. I'm sure we'll find out more about what's going on once we reach Terra. Yeah, and hopefully we'll learn about Kujo wants to achieve. The location of Ibsen Castle has been marked on the map based on Lady Hilda's information. Please check that by pressing select after we depart. You can also press X on the bright spots on the map and the ship will take you to those locations automatically. You can check how to maneuver the ship automatically by pressing triangle while the large map is open. Excuse me! Please let me know if you'd like to switch your party members. I shall assist you in any way that I can during your journey. You don't have to be so formal, just relax and enjoy our flight. Alright, so we'll bring Pia, Steve, and so Alright, now let me fly, let me land, let me save. Suspense is killing me. Where the hell is the land? Alright, time to save. Alright everyone, thank you very much for viewing today. I will be back tomorrow with more Final Fantasy IX and in less of a rush. Uh, I'm only being rushed because my brother is now here. Um, gonna go get Final Fantasy Explorers. So, everyone pick up the game, enjoy it, and I will talk to you later. Have a good one, guys. And girls.